Good morning. Welcome to this uh, July 3rd edition of the Board of Commissioners meeting. I uh, will make a note here quickly that our internet and service upstream uh, because of some power outages not working. So we're not live today, but we'll, we're going to record it and we'll upload it at that time. Uh, so as always, our first, first item is public comment, if we have anyone here for it. Okay, seeing none, I'll move around. I see uh, our order. Some people are not here, so we'll just go on to our clerk, Stephanie Harshbarger, with a voice agreement. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning. Um, I'm Stephanie Harshbarger, your county clerk, and I, I'm sorry to, I jumped on your agenda kind of late um, on Friday. I just got this agenda um, on Thursday, and or this agreement from Boyce. Um, we've had it since 2018. It's software for our child support checks, and we need it. <laughs> okay. Need it. Okay. Gotta have it. I only had two things that I'm fine with the agreement it still had uh, Ray's name on there so it seemed like they might want to update and that to you. I've yours. talked to them before so I'll have to and then maybe they could check some of their spelling they like licensee and mm -hmm. was misspelled across the agreement so yeah. they could update those things okay but I'm fine with it okay. I have no problem so, but I thought you might want your name on yeah <laughs> yeah no I do so I'll make a motion we approve the agreement with Boyce second Motion carries three zero. Thank you. Yep. Thanks, Stephanie. Okay, next is uh, Liz Stitzel with area plan update. Good morning, Liz. Good morning. Um, if I had something of significance, it got lost in the internet outage. <laughs> so I don't think I have anything that's urgent. Um, Kat is continuing to follow up on, on the items that you had passed on to us last time around. Okay. Um, in fact, I think, I think one of them has been doing some cleanup. At least he's called the office a few times Good. for her, indicating that he's been making progress and would like um, some reinspections. So um, hopefully you'll start to see Good. You know, some improvement there. Uh, do you have anything for me? I, I do not. No. All right. Well, you know where to find me if that changes. Okay. So. Thank you. Thanks, Liz. Next is Rick. Good morning, Rick. Good morning. Um, we've been uh, we've been painting some railroad crossings. Uh, we're supposed to have those on the road, the ones with uh, with the lights and cross arms. So we've been doing that, and we fog sealed 1100 East from. Clinton Central Road to 28, and then we striped it, and, and then we put our railroad crossings on that road. Looked really nice, so just wanted everybody to know that. Um, I was asked to last commissioners meeting to say something about 400 East and 500 North. We raised the road up. Uh, we put 29 loads of stone on that road. It cost us about $4,000. Uh, it took about 16 hours of work, and uh, we used three trucks. We used a grader and a backhoe. We, we made sure the county tile was in good shape before we built the road up, and it was. It was cement tile, and the, the, the equalizer pipe that goes across the road, it was in good shape, so we left it, and we used a roller, and rolled our stone as they built it up. We also the road near there so we could have some dirt to put along the edge and save stone and so we raised it up about two and a half feet okay. and I, I, I think it looks pretty good so it does look good I've been down it, yep. that looks nice looks, yeah but you know and if the water gets up and goes over it ain't gonna be won't be too too hard to raise it up a little bit more now so <laughs> shouldn't have to but it's it's about 300 feet long so yeah anyway that's Pretty much all I have. Okay. Guys the commissioners. I do not. Good. No. Good. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. Yeah. I'll, I'll just add the 400 for those that don't know was had a big valley in it, and so anytime we got uh, larger rains, it made it impassable. So uh, Rick and his crew built it up, like he said, two and a half feet, so that now, hopefully, the water will get into the risers and get through the county tile to the ditch, rather than making the road impassable. Okay. 
Uh, we'll move on to old business. Our, we have one item today uh, that is uh, an MOU for the school resource officer. This one is with uh, Clinton Prairie. I believe Clinton Central is still working on theirs. So this will, as you recall, um, we had some clarification in terms of identifying how the payment was going to be made as well as the timing of it and where it would go. And so uh, Clinton Prairie had passed this. Uh, Tom had worked with the school's attorney, which the good thing is she's also the attorney for Clinton Central. So the similar or the same agreement should come back from them at some point here before school starts. So I think you guys have seen it. I don't know if there's any other any questions, questions with it. Didn't have any. Make a motion yeah. we approve the memorandum of understanding. Second. The, uh, Clinton Prairie. Okay, motion carries 3-0 to approve the MOU with Clinton Prairie. So I guess this allows you to have one, it's, instead of utilizing a current officer, now you can hire for the school resource officer position, and right. that one's available. Fantastic, and I appreciate that, the work that uh, I agree. So I, I, they they sounded like they'd have it this month. I, I um, but Clint Prairie was a step ahead of them. So for budget purposes, can I proceed with both line items for Central as well? I I, I think I would put them both in there, yeah. and then we'll Great. wait Thank for you. for that. Right, so yep. okay. Under uh, we have one item under new business. It's a sign uh, placement request from. New Beginning Ministry, it's for their Vacation Bible School from July 7th through the 15th. They'd like it to be out there for, well, it looks like more than five days, but they say five days um, on the southeast corner. So, Motion to approve. Second. All right, motion carries 3-0. Department heads. Do have any department heads that would like to go? Okay, Liz, I, you're back up. I knew she couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm apo apologizing, but I remembered when I sat, Kat had a mowing question for you guys, and um, I found the site using my phone. So there is, uh, this is on the county line, 1,000 north. It is um, west of Waldron Road, you know, between there and the far western county line. There's a group of four homes that sit all together on the south side of 1,000 north. And um, there have been complaints filed on one of them, and it's a kind of a reverse L-shaped property. It comes in off the road, and then it cuts behind, you know, and kind of up against the other three homes. And I'm going to... Couldn't print this morning. Um, the highlighted parcel is the one that the complaint is about, and Kat has been out there, and okay. it's, um, it's quite tall. Um, it actually looks like it's the yard of this house that's not mowed, but it's actually the front of this one and wraps around. But it's zoned <laughs> agriculturally, so it requires, okay. if you guys decide that you think yeah, it should be sited or if you don't. Mow it. Take go ahead and mow it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll let her know. Thank you, and sorry I spaced that. Yep. <laughs> Anyone else? Rodney? Good morning. I have a, uh, would have had, <laughs> if I didn't have internet problems, a uh, three-year contract for our third-party biller that we use mm. for Medicaid mm -hmm. and uh, private insurance, and it's due up. So I'll try to get it to you today as soon as we get it restored so you can review it. I, it's, okay. I believe you want to be involved in at least sign up. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yep. So, all right. Well, I'll, I'll pass that along to you. So. Thanks, Rodney. All right. I got a question, Rodney, real yeah. quick, because uh, I know we need to be doing this here this month because we have till September and opting into the uh, the additional funding. Yeah, it, right. So, have you got any more information that to consider for that that we need to look into? Uh, there was a couple more meetings I know they had. I, well, we we got our final versions of what would be the you know of course the core services that they are asking us to be looking at. Um, uh, their KPIs, which are key performance indicators, finally got all out of undrafted and into regular final form. But that's the state's KPIs. They give the counties up till December of 2024 to develop their own KPIs, sort of in following with it. But yet, 
tailoring them to you know what our community needs so we have completed the second retreat meeting with uh, this time with our board uh, some of our staff and the healthy communities board uh, I want to say the 17th I think it was of June that we did that and we had about a four-hour meeting with them and looked at some common areas and, and, and some budgetary ideas so I believe our board and our health officers are ready to entertain a meeting with you gentlemen in the council whenever you'd like okay. to sort of discuss strategies. So. so you feel like we're on track with everything at this point? Yes, yeah. Well, let's look to, in the next couple of weeks, we'll sure. try and find a time uh, to get together. So would it be better? Does this need to be an evening meeting? It would probably be a special situation. For, I mean, it's going to take longer than what you can do in a meeting like this. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'd want you to have the opportunity to ask questions and, and, and explore opportunities of what you think, you know, we need to be looking at, too. So, like I say, um, sometime. sometime after probably the middle of July, I think okay. our board and their board's ready to, you know, come with some presentation for you folks. Okay. Well, Good. then we'll try and coordinate something sure. with Jerry and get sure get and on and of book. course our our healthy communities board already includes several other partners besides healthy communities you know we have school system on there we have uh, IU health is on there we also have WIC and some other representation so it's it's even broader than just that so okay, okay. I just don't want to drop the ball I know yeah. we have to Certain, adopt that yeah. resolution and, so you're, we're really looking at uh, what do we have one more meeting in July and two in sure, August so sure. one of the next three meetings yeah and, and I wanted to pull along everybody on our side to make sure we had you know everything kind of lined yeah. out and had talked about it ourselves first so. okay all right thanks, thanks Rodney anyone else okay commissioner reports I have nothing nothing same okay I only have one thing which is not a report but we need to take action so uh, we had a resolution 2021-04. It's for the state in terms of uh, doing um, e-signatures, and it, it specified that whoever was the president had the authority to do the e-signature for the state. Now they are coming back, what is this, two years later, and saying that it has to be a it. specific individual. So uh, if we could have a motion that the president and myself is able to do the DocuSign and then we can get them the minutes and hopefully that will appease them. So, so moved. Second. All right. Motion carries 3-0 uh, to allow the president and myself to sign the DocuSign documents within Doc. Okay. I don't have anything other than that. So we will move on to claims. We have claims dated June 23rd in the amount of $16,878.97. Claims dated June 30th in the amount of $45,845.58. Bi-weekly claims dated July 3rd in the amount $336,472.23. Court claims dated July 3rd in the amount of $34,800.03. And a surplus dated July 3rd in the amount of $14,580.71. Motion oh. to approve. Second. Motion carries 3 0 to approve the claims. Next, we have uh, payroll dated June 16th in the amount of $486,672.46. And then we have an additional EMS payroll for $1,604.17. Motion to approve. Second. All right, payroll passes 3 0. Lastly, we have our minutes from our June 20th meeting. Motion to approve. And second. All right. Motion carries 3-0 on those. Our next meeting will be July 17th. And uh, I guess the only, only thing I'd wrap up is hopefully everyone has a safe and uh, enjoyable 4th of July and remember the reason why we have the freedom to do, celebrate it. So with that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So, so moved. moved. Right. <laughs> second. Thank you. 15 Not minutes. A Not, yeah, a Not a record. Not a record, but... Yeah.